Hello guys! I didn't think I was going to vlog again. I thought my last vlog was going to be my Eid prep video. But we're vlogging because I can't pray. Kieran is a chef's name. Like it's her restaurant. Kieran's. She's going to be here? She usually is. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Should I put heels on? No? I'm wearing loafers, that's my other option. I'm so excited. Even though I, I'm not fasting, I haven't been eating. Like yesterday, I literally starved myself until like 7.30. So today, I'm actually excited to eat. I'm really hungry. We're on time, no? Yes. Oh my god, we're a minute early. I'm telling you, last night was it, dude. Because it was, yeah, it was so cool. So it was like the night before. Okay. Need honey. Thank you. Hi, ladies. How do you guys feel eating on a fasting day? It feels good, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the meals hit harder. No regrets. <laughs> regrets. And we got the yummy. Like we got the yummy. It's too yummy, delicious. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I really feel like she looks a lot bigger in person. I like in photos. I think that's the angle. Usually, she doesn't like in yesterday's video. She does not look that big. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying you posted a picture already. What you post? <clears throat> okay. I think it's pretty. You want me to tap the background? Maybe like you can do it from like. Huh? Yeah, you lost it. Did I get it? Yeah, where's it from? It's the one that you showed me. It's Summer Friday. Oh. What? I was obsessed with it. It's like you Wait, it's in my purse. How'd you put it where? I have two. Because you took one of mine, so I bought another one. I didn't like it like that. Like, it took it forever. Oh, well, then just give it So when I bought it, I bought the three pack, and I think it was $24. Oh, really? But now each one is $24. Yeah, I, I, I waited until it went on sale during the 20% off, and then I got it. Are we going to support it? It was only $22. I know. I don't know why they to me But it, your three, three of them were the same shade, or they were the different no, shades? different. Oh, yeah, so it's the vanilla beige. And yeah, the pink one. those ones are like so light. So it's oh. vanilla beige. The one no, it's the darkest one. Yeah, vanilla beige. No, no, vanilla beige. No. Vanilla beige. So if all you have, of us have it. If you have vanilla beige, I want to try it. This one is this one. Yeah. Oh. Look, it says vanilla beige. Show it on the camera. All of us have Oh my god! Yeah. How cute of me. <laughs> no, we're just so basic. No, we, I just copied her. <laughs> it's really not basic. This one's yours. I love it. It's such a good color. Look at like, it. I don't think people know. I don't think people know either. And if you have a little bit of a gloss underneath, then it really amplifies yeah, it. Yeah. Like, I, lip I mean, a lip line underneath, then it really, yeah. Because that's what I have on now. Seba got it too. Yeah. I know. It showed me, yeah. Oh, Seba would have loved hanging out with this right now. And it's vegan, Jay. Yeah. Can I eat it? Okay, this is the first course. It's some mushroom biscuit or something. What do you think, ma'am? It's good? Looks really good. I don't really do mushrooms, so let's see. What do you think, Sarah? Okay. Yummy? It's so cute. I forgot to show you guys the menu, but here is the high tea menu. And we got our second course. So we have some like cucumber thingy, some shrimp, 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 Just one. One. Another sandwich. Should we eat everything together and then taste it and rate it? Yeah. Yes. Wait, so why was she trying to get you to go from California? Thank you so much. Very Thank you. Well. Because there's no direct flights from Houston. Okay. And so she was asking me if I could just book it on my own. Okay. And then Hamad also told me don't book it on your own because it has to be on a connecting flight. Because then I won't have to take out my luggage and like reconnect. Like that's oh, the thing. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, no, just have them book it for you. But it was so much back and forth. I think she just basically got over it. And all the other creators were going from London. Um, let's try this one. You pick the first one. Okay. Salmon? Oh, is it salmon? Do you like salmon? Okay. Yeah. Your pick. Let's do the cucumber. We should have done this for you. <laughs> our parents would hate this. Are you joking? No, they our parents are not part of the plan. So you guys want to do something with the parents too or just the girls? I mean, it's easy. Let's spend it with the whole family. Nirvana. You don't want Nirvana? Oh. So Stafford Center, we go there. Or we can go to a local market that we don't have to risk Stafford. You guys want to try Elite? Oh, it is gross. What about Karai Boys? What was the other place? Karai Kitchen or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have like Halim. Oh, we can go Kasha. Wait, I know it sounds lame, but they have an Eat Special. Joshua, no. I know, we're at Pasha all the time. They yeah. have an Eat Special. Oh, they have Mariam's not going to be here, so let's not go to Pasha if she's not here. Mariam's not going to be with us in I mean, yeah. Are we trying stuff together? I'm about to plop this whole thing in my mouth. Go for it. Oh, look, there's a little uh, glitter on top. Oh, no way. It's so cute. Get so that. cute. Wow, cute. Oh, so elegant. So ladylike. I have the yummies in my... We got the yummies in my goodies. Okay. Good. Good. Janine, look over here. I feel like we're praying. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Oh my lordy, it's too yummy. So we came to the park after our high tea. They're going for a little stroll. Um, and I'm going to set up here. And we're gonna just sit down and relax. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, the weather today, guys. Oh my god, so nice. It's so pretty. Okay. There you go. Okay. Someone is enjoying the weather. <laughs> Do you like it? It's a yummy one. <laughs> Go in the sun a little bit. Say hi to my vloggy. Oh, ah, it's at me. <laughs> you love the camera, huh? Hello, guys. It's a lot later now. I'm back home. I actually took the longest nap. I went to bed at 7 a.m. and I woke up at 11. So I've had a really good nap. I'm trying to stay awake um, tonight. I've been trying to stay awake the last 10 nights of Ramadan just so I can maximize my time and just you know, get in as much as I could before Ramadan ends. So please excuse the way I look. I have my skincare on and like these little acne patches. So I look really ratchet. And I honestly wasn't going to vlog this, okay? I was not going to share my like little little gather routine, but I saw a message where somebody asked if I could, and I thought about it really hard, and this is not for any showing off purposes. I just thought 
maybe this will be helpful to somebody who's struggling and is lost and doesn't know what to do in these last 10 nights, especially those who cannot pray on the last 10 nights because I, on, I unfortunately cannot pray right now. So this is my routine. So I really hope this comes off very authentic. I'm just really trying to encourage you guys to do your best. If you're lost, I hope this is helpful. So this is my routine. First of all, I grab coffee. This is essential because there is no way humanly possible that you can stay awake all night if you don't have caffeine. So I grab some coffee every single day around 10 p.m. So I take a nap during the day, which is also really, really critical. I first take a nap and make sure I'm well rested <clears throat> so I don't feel like I'm losing sleep at night. Second of all, I grab coffee at around 10 p.m. So that way it guarantees I'm awake till Fajr. The third thing I do is I make a routine for myself. So I actually have a routine that I can share with you guys. It's somewhere in here if I can find it. So here is my routine and this is what I follow. So I break up my night in two parts and there's no specific order but this is what I like to follow. That way I feel like I have something to do um, throughout the night and I'm not like just lost or bored. I think this is so critical on making sure you have a productive night. So I start off by reading Quran. I like to read two juz which takes me about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. And then I go for Qiyam. Since I can't pray right now, Qiyam used to be around 2 to 4 a.m., so it would take up two hours of my night. Since I can't pray Qiyam, what I like to do is live stream it. So I'm listening to the recitation and I'm following along and reading the translation or the transliteration um, on YouTube. And so that way I'm still like participating in the congregation, but I'm also benefiting by not praying, but learning about the translation. And then I break up my dua into segments where I like to do dua several times throughout the night because one of the most important things about Laylatul Qadr is seeking forgiveness and making sure you get forgiven during these last 10 nights. So I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm thoughtfully executing my toba many times and several times throughout the night. So that's what I do for repentance. And then what I like to do is make sure I pray. Oh, let me focus this. And then what I like to do is make sure I pray Isha and Fajr in congregation. So I heard um, this hadith where if you pray Fajr, if you pray Isha in congregation and Fajr in congregation is as if you prayed the entire night. And if you do one or the other, it's as if you prayed half of the night. So if you prayed only Isha, then it's as if you prayed half the night. And if you only prayed Fajr, then it's as if you prayed half the night. And I think that's a really great cheat code if you can't stay up the entire night and you're falling asleep like um, somewhere in the middle, then if you at least pray these two prayers um, in Jama, then hopefully you get the reward of seeking or observing the entire night. Lastly, what I like to do is do zikr. So I try to just, you know, recite different types of the speech throughout the night. Um, especially if I get really tired from reading Quran or something like that, I'll take a break and just be very intentional about my zikr. So one of the things that has really helped me with my zikr is knowing what I am saying. So when I'm doing my tasbih, I'm being very intentional. When I'm saying Alhamdulillah, I'm actually like literally trying to think of things that I'm grateful for. So I'm thinking about my wealth, my health, um, my house, my bed. Like I'm trying to think of things. So I'm like really being grateful when I'm saying subhanAllah, I'm literally thinking of things that I'm like, wow, how can I glorify Allah? The birds, the trees, the weather. Like I'm just trying to do that. And maybe people are already doing this, honestly. And maybe I just sound like really stupid saying this, but these are things that have been helping me. So I'm just trying to share. And then lastly, what do I have on here? Sadaqa, this is huge. Um, I automated my donations so I don't have to worry about physically taking out time um, every single night to make a donation. I highly recommend to set up an auto payment. I'm doing Yakin Institute. You can do as little as a dollar to whatever you want every single night. Um, Sadaqa helps expiate sins. It helps um, increase your wealth. Um, it is, acts as a barrier on day of judgment with your sins and punishments and all sorts of things great great things to do and then lastly is halakha which is one of my favorites because i'm obsessed with listening to lectures online so i do take out time um during my ibadah to listen to lectures the other thing i've been doing um if you don't want to read the quran i know there's different schools of thoughts um if you feel like you can't read the quran i believe that if i wear gloves i can read the quran don't come after me if you feel like you can't do that 
The other great substitute is to learn surahs or learn the 99 names of Allah, which I was doing for a little bit and it literally changes your game. It literally changes the game when you're trying to make dua because when you're calling out to the person that you can associate a, an attribute with, I just feel like it makes it more meaningful. So like when I'm making dua and I'm saying um, like, Ya Allah, and I say, Ya Wadud, like the most loving, or if I say, Ya Shafi, the one who's like the healer, or Ya Sami, the listener, like it makes my dua just so much more like connected. So I recommend doing that. So yeah, those are just some few things that I'm doing. Don't forget, please guys, if you haven't donated and you want to donate, please consider donating to Palestinian refugee families. I have a link in my description down below. I am working with UNRWA. They are working with Islamic Relief. I can guarantee you all of your donations go 100% to these families. There are no admin fees. This is 100% zakat eligible. I trust both of these organizations. I've worked with them several times in the year, in the past years, and I do not make any commission or any money off of this. I'm purely doing this for the greater good and hoping that we all attain reward. So please consider donating. These families are relying on your donations for sustenance and for emergency food packages. Um, I think we're at $37,000 right now. Our goal is $40,000, so please consider donating in these last nights. Okay, that is it. I'm going to go get into my routine. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!